Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Okay, today I just sort of want to talk about my camera setups. It should come as no surprise that I have my Sony a6600 on a Cinerig build out in front of me. That's my main studio camera setup that I use probably more often than not, hence you get the background and everything. Then I actually had a Sony ZV-1 that I built up as my run and gunner. Then after that, I actually got a second Sony a6600 that I got specifically for shooting stills. But then I started to find that I actually liked the footage that I got on it. I know I don't want to take the Cinerig apart every time I want to use this a6600 to shoot film with. So I thought, eh, screw it, I'll buy another a6600. So I got the second a6600 and I do use it primarily for stills, but I've also started using it more for video now. And now that I'm doing this two cam setup, I have it set up and, and ready to go in the studio if I decide that I wanna do a two cam video, which most of the time I will, cause why not? I also had a Sony a7 III, but decided that at the time I preferred the money. So I sold that with all my lenses and, and that's what funded the second a6600. I found now when I walk out of the house, my go-to is to grab the second A6600, especially since I love the footage that I get out of it. And the other thing is that I know the A6600 inside and out, backwards and forwards, and I can set everything blindfolded. Just reach around, I know exactly what button is what, where to move stuff, how to get what I want, and I have them matched for all the settings and all the menus and everything to how I shoot. I love my A6600. I don't feel the need to buy an a7 IV for stills. I don't find that I need to buy an a7S III for film. Now, I definitely know I don't need to buy an Alpha One for anything. What am I trying to say? Well, what I'm trying to say is that I think it's time for me to sell this ZV-1 because it's really not my go-to at this point. I'm perfectly happy with having the a6600 be my film camera. The way that I have my Forerunner set up, I can put the a6600 either on the dash or on the monopod that's connected to the center console. So no matter what, it's just really easy for me to make my flow work better having two A6600s. I'm very impulsive if you haven't figured that out yet. I'll get it in my head that, man, I think I'll get that. And then I go out and get that. Now, most recently, once I decided that I could use the second A6600 for filming and as my second angle camera in the studio and that I really prefer it on my run and gun stuff, I rebought a lens that I sold. So when I sold my a7 III, I sold that camera, all my full frame lenses to one person and he actually saw my 10 to 18 for my a6600 and was like, dude, you, you don't wanna sell this, do you? And I was thinking to myself, since I was pretty much getting rid of everything except for what I was gonna use on this a6600 and sticking with the ZV-1, I was like, eh, screw it, yeah. I mean, he paid good money for it, instant regret, because I loved that lens. If I'm going to vlog on the a6600, having that 10 to 18 is like, it's a must have. So. I bought another one. I will have that lens tomorrow and then uh, I'll be happy because it'll be back on my other A6600 and, and then I can run and gun vlog with it. I'm still gonna contemplate on whether or not I'm gonna keep this ZV-1. If I don't, I'm gonna sell it as a package. So it's gonna be the ZV-1, it's gonna have the small rig cage, it's gonna have the JJC filter adapter on it, and then it's gonna have the Zomai wide angle adapter lens on it. I probably will not sell the, the power bar, I will not sell uh, like anything else with it. I'm keeping the grip because I like the grip. Get your own Peak Design standard plate if you want it, but it will come like with the ZV-1 specific stuff. So I'm gonna have to figure out how much I'm gonna sell it for, and we'll see what happens. But if you're interested in purchasing this Sony ZV-1 from me, drop me a comment down below and let me know. It's gonna have to be the lower 48 because shipping anything outside of the continental US is a massive, massive pain in the ass. It takes forever. It's also incredibly expensive and I'm not gonna incur that cost. Now I know a lot of people are gonna jump down my throat and say, dude, don't sell the camera, it's awesome and all that kind of stuff, but you're not gonna dissuade me. I make up my own mind and I do what I wanna do. Nah. So, all right, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to say, you know, that I love my two cam setup now. I love my A6600s. I have no desire to have any other camera. I'm not buying any other Sony cameras besides the two that I have there. And I will more than likely sell my ZV-1. 
So, like I said, if you're interested, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And that's all I've got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.